<laughs> okay, it's Trace, I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm having a giggle. Um, I'm gonna make pancake bites in my pressure cooker. I have one of these little molds. It's actually their baby food freezer mold. Uh, full confession, I've sprayed it with some nonstick spray, a little bit of Pam. In my bowl, I have one cup of instant pancake mix because life is too short to mess about with doing your own pancakes. I mean, if you want to, hey, go for it. I like this one, Krusty's. Um, it's just add, just add water, that's the kind you want. You can buy the kind that you just add egg, and I guess you'd add an egg. One cup. I have little itty bitty chocolate chips, because I love them, put just some in. And if you, the, the, the thought is that if you add your chocolate chips, let's add more, to the flour bit, they won't sink as much. And I'm all about that. Uh, to my one cup of mix, three quarters of a cup of just room temperature water. I still add a pinch of salt. That's just me, I have to. And then mix it up. I use a spatula so I don't um, mix it too, uh, too much, although you really can't mess this up. Okay, see how super runny that is? That's exactly what I want. Okay, we want it that slack, so don't think that you've done something wrong. I'm going to... Pour it, pour them in. About three quarters full. But basically, and we've already established I am incapable of dividing things evenly, so avert your ah, avert your eyes there. Uh, the thing is, with this one cup of mix, it will make seven. So however you get there. Look at this, I'm being a train wreck. Look how terrible is that. Oh. So you divide it all up so you because you want them kind of even, right? That one is there. That one goes there. That one puny one. That's okay. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? Then in the pressure cooker over the trivet, one cup of water, just room temperature water. Put that in there. I have tin foil sheets. I just throw it in. The only thing it does is it just stops water from going on the top. But really it's no big hairy deal if it does, you just tip it off. Take your, the lid of the pressure cooker, just run your finger along this seal to make sure it's underneath that little piece of metal. Put it on, lock and load, pressure, high pressure. Five minutes. I'll come back after that time. Okay, my darlings, I'm back. All right, I put the pancake bites in here. I set the timer for five minutes, high pressure. And then I let them rest for five minutes. Let's see what I've got in there now. And you see, there's just a little bit of water on top of your tin foil. Don't worry about it. And then look at these little darlings. See, they're a little spongy because they're steamed puddings basically. And so what I do with them is I take them at this point and then flip them over onto the board. Well, they were, they will now rest for five minutes. And then I'll come back and take this off. Okay, my little darlings have been sitting here for about five minutes-ish. Give them a little squeeze, a little press on the little nubbins on the bottom. Let's see, can you shake? How many did I get? Oh, all but one, that's pretty good. See, they kind of come out. And there, look 
at the little darlings. Look at my beautiful uneven dividing of how they worked. Those are beautiful little pancake bites. At this point, you can do anything with them. You can, if you had not put um, uh, chocolate chips in them, uh, maybe roll them in cinnamon sugar. Oh uh, yeah, and then eat them. I'm gonna pick this one. And open it up for you. It's light and fluffy, slightly. They're very moist. It's kind of the consistency of a muffin, but it's a little bit more tender than that. Uh, for the British, it's a steamed pudding. It's fantastic. Uh, make them, these freeze really well, although, come on, there's seven. <sighs> Just eat them. Add fruit, nuts, joy, happiness, whatever you want. Drizzle them. I like to put golden syrup on them. Let me show you this. Don't go anywhere yet. Golden syrup. And then you see you take one of those and then sort of drizzle a little syrup on it. And we both know I would put way more than this on it. And then eat them. They're delicious. Yes, it takes 15 minutes because there's a five minutes cooking, the five minutes resting, and then the five minutes resting out here again. But it's not really time you have to do anything. So make them, eat them, enjoy them. If you think of anything that you'd like me to cook, let me know below or send me an email. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you feel the need. I'd love to have you back. And uh, I'm going to go away and think up something else that I can cook. I'm going to eat a couple of these first. All right, that's it. Thanks. Go cook these.